It's late morning on this bumpy track in the heart of the Amazon forest. And this environmental brigade is out looking for a farmer suspected of cutting down trees illegally. We are on our way to a property where deforestation activity has been reported through our whistleblower channel. We are headed there to identify the owner. The team stops to inspect the farm. Satellite data indicates the brigade is in the right place, but no one is here. We can see in this image from 2020 that the forest is still standing. In 2021, we can see here that the trees in this forest have already been cut. The deputies check another farm farther away. The neighbors say they haven't seen anyone. A code of silence seems to reign. For Sergio Benedetti and his brigade, this is a chance to talk to the farmers about the illegal deforestation that is devastating the region. We are here to work together and allow the town to grow in a sustainable way, because our city is unfortunately frowned upon and it has a very serious environmental problem. Aerial views are telling. The forest has given way to vast pastures. São Félix do Jinku is the red meat capital of Brazil. It has more than two million head of cattle in an area twice the size of Switzerland. The city is also the national champion in greenhouse gas emissions. Authorities have decided to take action. The farmer in question has been summoned to the town hall. He faces a fine of 40,000 euros. But in Brazil, only 5% of fines for environmental offenses are actually paid. This often happens. The area is very large and our control brigade is small. Julia was a small-scale cattle breeder. He has been working here for 20 years. He admits to clearing land to plant vegetables to feed his family, but much less than the large farms nearby. As time goes by, the pastures degrade. Where 100 oxen were raised before, now they only raise half of them. What they do then is further deforest to create new pastures. Today, 80% of the deforested Amazon has been converted into pasture land, a process that involves setting intense illegal fires. This scientist has been analyzing the air above the Amazon for the past five years. There is a lot of smoke due to the fires in the area. You can clearly see from the plane that what looks like fog is actually smoke. His findings are clear. There are too many forest fires. The Amazon can no longer absorb the planet's carbon emissions and has reached the point of no return. The Amazon has in some parts stopped being a carbon consumer, a region that absorbs carbon from the atmosphere to become a region that emits carbon into the atmosphere. This is very worrying. Manuel is one of the few cattle farmers in the country to embrace sustainable agribusiness. At the head of a farm with more than 7,000 animals, he's betting on intensive breeding and soil maintenance to avoid deforestation. It's a model that's more technical and expensive, but it could become the farm of the future. The new generation that is coming up, up until my age, is already much more open, with this spirit of opening the doors of the farm, welcoming new things and being able to change the means of production. In the southern Amazon, these Greenpeace activists are campaigning to identify and denounce environmental crimes. They say the Brazilian government and its climate septic president, Jair Bolsonaro, are encouraging the practice by cutting subsidies to environmental agencies. Since he took office in 2019, deforestation has almost doubled. Every year, land the size of Lebanon is raised.
We're living through a period in Brazil during which the government is clearly against the environment, against the agencies that protect the environment, and against the organizations that fight for the defense of the environment. People burn the forest without fear of being caught or punished for it. And as if that wasn't enough, gold mining is also ravaging the Amazon rainforest. This retired farmer has invested his savings to rent these machines that extract the precious metal with little regard for the environment. We have this little piece of land and we have discovered minerals on it. I know I could be in trouble because everything we do here is illegal. We know it's not right. Perched on its tree, this fierce harpy bird is one of the first victims of deforestation. With a wingspan of 2 meters and weighing 10 kilos, it is one of the largest eagles in the world, with a strong appetite for monkeys and sloths. Guide Roberto Eduardo Stoffel has been observing the species for 20 years. He's worried about its future. It suffers due to deforestation, logging, and even more from curiosity, human curiosity. Many people kill it just because it's a hawk. The same alarm bells are ringing for the jaguar. The largest cat in the Americas reigns supreme in the Pantanal, in the south of the Brazilian Amazon, well hidden between the shadows and the tall grass of the swamps. The increase of deforestation in the Amazon implies a reduction in rainfall in the central part of Brazil and here in the Pantanal. If you reduce the water in the Pantanal, you reduce the biodiversity and consequently, you may also reduce the jaguar population here. In 2020, historic fires burned down part of the Pantanal. With this antenna, Fernando Tortado tracks the movements of a jaguar that survived the blaze. The research is clear. Jaguars need space and access to the Amazon to survive. It is very important to maintain the connection between the jaguars of the Pantanal and those of the Amazon. Our main strategy is through corridors which are protected habitats that connect those areas. It is very important to work on this connection to maintain gene flow. Faced with multiple dangers, the indigenous communities are the first protectors of the forest. They're fighting together against the dismantling of their lands by the administration of President Bolsonaro. We're sure that the struggle of Brazil's indigenous communities will have the support of the entire planet so that together we can defend Mother Nature. The best preserved environment in Brazil today is located exactly within the indigenous lands of the country. Drought, torrential rains, rising food prices. Brazil is already experiencing the crises climate scientists predicted. Experts say we urgently need to stop consuming products that contribute to the deforestation of the Amazon in order to preserve the essential role it plays for the planet.